Hi, Twee. I'm very happy to see that you've uh, sent us another set of essays. Good work. Let's take a look. Um, let's see. Pushing companies from large cities to regional locations, benefits and drawbacks. Let's see what you wrote. The urbanization now is becoming a global phenomena, shifting gradually the human population from rural areas to big cities in order to tackle the problem of overwhelming social demand resulting from such a process. Many authorities think that they should relocate enterprise offices to the countryside. Reallocating space for firms would certainly bring many advantages, but there will but there will be also there will also be some disadvantages. Okay. I made some uh, little minor changes. Here I just want to change a couple of things. Urbanization without the is becoming a global phenomenon. It's phenomena plural, phenomenon singular. Uh, shifting gradually human population from rural areas. Okay, that's fine. It was nice. I liked it. Um, you're using some nice uh, vocabulary, some good grammar. Um, you answered the question. You said there would be advantages, but there will be disadvantages. So lovely. Let's move on. One evident benefit to moving, because here benefit to, uh, this to here, it doesn't mean full infinitive, but it means that it's acting as a preposition, so it needs an ing. Okay. Uh, one evident benefit to to moving companies from large cities is that it would enable greater space for new houses and pu public infrastructural construction. All right, I have a concern here about this expression, public infrastructural constructions. Uh, it's not, it's not for me at least. It's not a recognizable collocation. Um, you could have just said um, infrastructure improvements or the construction of further infrastructure, but this whole expression just is a little unnatural, okay? All right, in other words, when the companies, this should be leave. When the companies leave, we uh, will have available area to build new residential blocks so that we can deal with the shortage of housing in big cities. Plus, the governments could get a larger land budget that could facilitate the construction of new infrastructure, such as city roads, hospitals, or schools. Okay, why would they have a larger land budget? That's not clear to me. That doesn't make sense. You don't explain to me why. Another reason that relocation of firms can help authorities avoid negative effects of the urbanization is that there are less industrial factories inside. No. If there are less industrial factories inside, the cities are less polluted. There you go. Apparently, when companies do not run their business in urban areas, the amount of har hazardous, blah, blah, hazardous garbage discarded and smoke emitted, singular, will be significantly reduced, contributing uh, to enhancing the quality of human living environment. Okay, so I like a lot of this. Um, you definitely did a nice job of extending and developing. So all that was really good. Um, but there are a couple of areas that just got a little strange, um, a little awkward. So just be careful with those. But you definitely um, extended. And so that was uh, well done. All right. Um, let's see. You said that a uh, shortage of housing they would build, I didn't understand this idea. You, this needed to be explained a little better. When you talked about they would have a larger land budget, that wasn't clear to me why. Um, what do you mean by land budget? Maybe, I, yeah, I didn't, the, the budget word I think is throwing me off. I'm not really sure what you mean there, okay? Uh, let's see, there'd be less polluted, okay. On the other hand, there are obviously drawbacks to pushing enterprises to move out of big cities. Firstly, it would mean that the economic structure in urban in urban areas with an S would totally change along with it. The motivation of development could be eliminated and eventually lead to a very high unemployment rate. All right. Um, there's something here about the grammar that it, here, let's look at it again. Firstly, it would mean that the economic structure in urban areas would totally change, and along with it, the motivation for... De no, how about this? And along with it, the motivation for development leading to a high unemployment rate. 
okay? That's what it is. This kind of structure, you didn't want this could be eliminated here. That's what's throwing it off. Okay, uh, yeah, so the motivation for development leading to a high unemployment rate. I think it works a little better like that. Without companies, the demand for all goods and services uh, will be lower, and consequently, the whole city's economy growth will be affected. Without companies, let me read it again, the demand for all goods and services will be lower. Why? I'm not entirely clear about that. I'm not entirely clear. Without companies, oh, are you saying that if these people left the city, then the things that they buy in the city and the services that they require in the city, uh, there would be fewer people purchasing them? I think that's what you mean, I think. Okay, um, secondly, the relocation of companies could result in the difficulty um, you see, a lot of this language is a little too complicated to read. Let's try it one more time. Secondly, the relocation of companies could reloc it could result in um, the difficulty to transport from home and work. Okay, the word you want here is commute. So let's let's fix it here. Secondly, the relocation of companies could result in uh, employees having a longer and more difficult commute. Okay? Um, and what does this mean? Also to carry products from place of origin, human origin without the E, to their markets. I don't really understand that. Where is the difficulty? Place of origin to their markets? This is unclear to me what this means. Moving out of the cities, people have to go further to reach the workplace. So the cost of individual commuter, no, the cost to commuters rises, not raises. Um, let me try it again. Grammar here is the issue. People have to go further to reach their workplace so that, no, so the cost to commuters rises, okay? Likewise, the factories are forced to spend more money for distribution. Get rid of the. Um, I figured that this is what you were talking about, but this whole sentence wasn't clear to me. Like, what were you talking about as the place of origin? Are you saying that the factory now located in the regional, loca regional location is the place of origin? It was really rather unclear, and so I had a little trouble with it, as you could see. Okay, um, in conclusion, while there are plus points uh, to shifting the companies from urban areas to regional locations, some negative ones would be created as a result. An optimal solution that prioritizes both economic growth and durable development will be required. I like your last sentence very much. That was nice. Um, as you can see, though, throughout the essay, I, I kind of struggled with some of these sentences. I was trying to understand what you were, what you meant and what some of this uh, was trying to say. Um, so, yeah, I did struggle a little bit. Okay. Um, so be careful with some of this, some of this awkwardness. Um, we should have more essays from you. Let me take a look at what else you've written us. Let me see. Ah, okay. Let's see. So the flow chart. All right. The diagram illustrates how to process fresh tea leaves in order to make several kinds of teas. Overall, to produce teas, tea leaves collected are sorted and cleaned before they pass through some more steps, including indispensable one of drying. We can see from the graphic that in terms of categories, such process varies. All right, this is okay. Um, I was a little concerned when I first read this because um, I thought that this sentence here was basically running the risk of becoming a detailed sentence and not an overview sentence. So maybe you just could have said something a little briefer, like overall, um, the process of tea production begins with sorting and cleaning and ends with drying. Okay, you could have done that. Although I think there are some other overviews here that are really um, more effective. I think you could say that um, white tea is the simplest, has the simplest process, whereas oolong tea has the most complicated. I think you could say that um, in order to make scented tea, 
um, one must first have green oolong or black tea. Okay, so those are a handful of things that you could have said here. Okay, all right, let's move on. Um, yes, initially fresh tea leaves are classified and washed. It is the simplest to make white tea since we pass by just two more steps, which are steaming and drying leaves to obtain the finished good. Fine. Unlike white tea, Green tea is produced by withering and then steaming tea leaves before drying and adding jasmine. Uh, huh? Those can be replaced. No, which can be replaced by rolling and shaping as well by rolling and shaping. Yes, yeah, so not those, but which. Even more steps. Uh, this is awkward. Even more steps in manufacturing green tea. Get rid of the apostrophe S. Yeah, I understand what you're trying to do here. It's just a little awkward in English. So, um, let's see. How about this? Even more complex than green tea, or no, even more complex than that of green tea, the process of making oolong tea includes six, six tasks. Such tasks are similar with these of making black tea. Oh, that's good. This was a nice sentence. These two kinds of teas uh, differ from each other by method of fermentation. Lovely. After the completion of withering and bruising leaves, while oolong tea producers ferment quickly the, I don't understand this, the in process, good. How about just ferment quickly, uh, they, no. The oolong tea producers, uh, I guess so. Quickly ferment the tea leaves. Black tea makers take this step. Um, no, you, so you know what you're doing? It, it, you're trying to rephrase this. And while I absolutely appreciate this effort, it's not really making your life easy. You see, the thing is, is that you are allowed to use these expressions. You are allowed to use this language from the graph. You don't have to reinvent it all. Okay, what you don't want to reuse is the, the task, the prompt. You don't want to copy this language, but these words uh, and so forth, you can use freely. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm sensing is happening. Like a lot of this ferment quickly, the in process, good. Really, just the tea passes through a short fermentation. That's it. All right, you don't need to make it more complex than this. I don't want you to worry about that. All right, because as you can see, I'm really struggling and I, I absolutely understand what you've tried to do, but what it's the end result is that it's just making this really kind of complicated and not very easy to read. Okay? So this is awkward here. Black tea makers take this step in longer period of time. It should just be while um, a short fermentation is required for oolong tea, black tea requires full fermentation. Really, just so much simpler. Okay? After all necessary... Um, steps are finished. I don't understand what good means here. I have no idea. After all steps have finished, maybe well, uh, for green, black, uh, and oolong tea, they continue to dry and add fragrance to the tea by sending with flowers or fruits. Okay, finally teas are cooled and now scented teas ready to serve. Now, okay, for me here, you really needed to have a better signpost here. You needed to show us that, okay, I'm done talking about these four tea types. Now I'm going to talk about uh, scented tea, which as you can see is its own separate process. I even would have put it in a separate paragraph um, because it needed to be signposted appropriately. So uh, in order to produce scented tea, um, Green tea, black tea, and oolong tea um, are dried. Then they are scented with flowers or fruit, or as you said, they are uh, fragrances added to them. Okay, and then they are cooled. So that's what happened here. So it's um, it's nice to see you writing. I liked a lot of what I saw. I really see that there's a lot of effort in your writing that you're really, really trying. But I think some of this needs to be cleaned up a little bit, okay? Um, this should be your last set with us. I'm going to take a look right now. Okay, it is. Um, but 
you know, we will be sending you a link to uh, more asset corrections with us if that's something you would like to, to do. Um, I encourage you to do it. I think that we can still continue progressing together for your um, IELTS preparation. So hopefully we'll see more writing from you. Do let us know what you decide to do either way. I'm uh, really interested to hear how you do um, in general and, and what your course is going to be. So um, I look forward to hearing from you and I want to wish you lots of luck.